This chapter will focus on creating a KPI from a virtual table. The sample data that we'll be using in this tutorial is derived from our sample database called Synatica 2010. Let's start off by going to the KPI's context menu. Next, click on the new KPI menu item to create a new KPI. Type in a meaningful name. Let's use 3.2.1 so we can associate this tutorial with this KPI for future reference. This will bring up the wizard scene here. We need to select a virtual data structure. In our case, we are interested in 2.2.1. Remember that 2.2.1 contains data for revenue, expenses, and profit per month. Now we need to select the measure. A measure is the actual value you need to monitor. In our case, we are interested in measuring revenue. Click Next to continue. The next step is not needed to create a KPI, but it is important to discuss. A contextual metric is a value that you may want to compare your measure against to give more context. In our case, we do have something to compare against, which is the expense. Click Next to continue. Now we need to choose a dimension. Dimensions are either category or time. It's like your x-axis on a 2D chart. In our case, the KPI is measured over time, so we will choose month as our dimension. Click on Next to continue. Let's ignore data annotations for now and click on finish to close the wizard. Now the content pane will show several properties and contain multiple tabs. Let's look at the preferred visualization. The purpose of this property is to set a default visualization for this KPI. Let's say we chose bar chart. What this means is when the KPI is used in a dashboard, it will automatically show up as a bar chart. Note that the dashboard designer can choose a different visualization which we will show how in a subsequent tutorial. In our case, we are showing revenue and expenses over time, so it's best to choose a line chart. If you need to make some changes to the KPI, click here to open up the wizard again. Finally, check it in so the KPI is available for use by the dashboard designer. There are many properties that you can set to enhance the KPI, but we will discuss these properties in subsequent tutorials. What we did in this video will allow you to start building dashboards, but you won't have as much dashboard interactivity. We will cover how to enable interactivity on your KPI in another tutorial. This concludes our tutorial on creating a KPI from a virtual table.